How we doing, Coin Paradas? Thanks for joining me for the show. Looking at GRT, the graph token GRT on that ticker. Pretty big pullback, as we've talked about before on the show, but nice to see now several full days in effect at of time of recording. Looking at this nice little pullback, especially breaking above the EMA resistance zone here and showing a little bit more of that follow through on the current daily candle. So things are looking pretty nice here for GRT, the graph token. Do want to look at closing level of support for the day, actually slightly below we drew on screen. So we're looking basically about the 23.55 cent level right now. And up overhead, looking at a pretty big resistance zone. First, we were looking at 29.39, followed by 30.19. So if we actually go ahead and zoom in here on the daily, you can see that the one that just closed yesterday still maintained closing level of resistance below this 29.39 level. But with the follow through on the current candle, looking like we're seeing a very nice back test of this 50 period EMA, along with a lot of nice follow through to hopefully break above this current resistance level at 30.19. Still got just over 19 hours as of time of recording, so almost a full day, so plenty can happen on this current candle. Hopefully, we can still see bulls follow through and maintain a lot more upside. But if we notice on the volume here down below, the volume that we're currently at right now with only about five hours into this current daily candle is almost what we were at for the candle yesterday, which had a very nice body that, talk, that excuse me, took out almost these three days of bearish pullback after showing pretty big rejection and resistance from this 50 period EMA, pulling back back below the EMA band. So finding our higher low right now, price low for that right at the 26 cent mark. And so now like we talked about yesterday's candle, 18.371 million for volume, the current one, 15.143. So definitely gonna get a lot more bullish volume coming in on the current. So we would expect a little bit more continuation and follow through. So even if we don't get necessarily a ton, we're still looking right now at a nice bullish candle coming in and hopefully forming a very nice bullish close on top of 30.19 closing level of resistance that we were looking at over here on the 23rd of April. Now, big thing too, is that this last attempt after finding our low, and for the low, we were looking at 20.65, is that we actually rallied up, pulled back, set a higher high, or excuse me, a higher low, higher high, pulled back, and then found our low at 22.05. But each of these attempts where we rallied up essentially got stuck up in this resistance zone level. So right now, the previous daily candle that just closed, breaking through it, barely seen a close on top of it, and the follow through is always what we want to see. Typically, probably what we will experience is a little bit more run up and rally, probably will face a little bit of resistance up here overhead, probably around the 32.85 cent mark, and then probably a back test as these exponential moving averages do flip bullish, and we do get a nice back test on this level as a very nice support. That would be extremely good and bullish setup. Now, it's extremely good for the bulls that we actually found a very nice support level when we found it. And essentially what we did is form this more or less double bottom for the close and especially now taking out a price high. So the high first, we're looking at 31.18 on the current daily candle. We're looking at a high of 31.47 and still plenty of time to go on this daily. Obviously, we will dive into the shorter term looking like a little bit more of a pullback, but that's OK. So as long as we can see support on top of the 50 period EMA. And a little bit more of that follow through, like we said, pretty much assuming more bullish volume is going to be coming in. But the reason this this support line is so important is that not only did we maintain closing level of support on all these back tests, we actually confirmed it as a closing as a, as a level of support on multiple attempts. And then slightly just below that, too, we actually had a big level of closing support coming in at twenty one point seven three, which was our big resistance point that we rejected from prior to pulling back here back in the start of the year back in January before running up to the current trend high right now which topped out at 49.63. So this whole big zone was extremely relevant and it is extremely nice to be able to confirm this level as a very strong support zone especially after confirming it as a resistance zone. So to be able to kick off and see a lot of buying in this overall level right in between the 21 and effectively the 24 cent zones, that's extremely important. And effectively, what we want to see is a continuation. And even if we do get a back test and retracement, pretty much that's exactly what we like seeing is that when things do confirm resistances, we do end up confirming them as supports as well. But right now, seeing a lot of great bullish signs as we do see prices getting pushed on top of the 30.19 cent resistance level 
should be a good sign for some longer term continuation and upside growth here. Flipping on over into the weekly chart, just want to talk about a few things. First, let's take a look at the weekly volume, week over week decreasing bearish volume. So coming off the trend high, saw a decrease in selling pressure, still maintain closing support for the weekly on top of this 26 period EMA. And in fact, we can actually turn off the 50 period EMA here and actually just look how relevant and applicable the 12 and 26 zones are for this chart here for GRT. So coming back spring of last year, big confirmation of rejection and resistance, still confirmed it as resistance, finally breaking above it, back tested it, very nice level holding support in between the 12 and 26 periods. Obviously, like we've talked about before, decreasing bearish volume, nice increasing bullish volume on this huge pump, decreasing bearish volume on this pullback, and now finding very nice supports again in this zone between the 26 and 12 period EMA. Additionally, what I want to look at too is that on the weekly candles here, the one that just closed last week, very nice body, very healthy long lower shadow. That does show a lot of that buying, especially once prices did get below the 26 EMA. And we did have a very nice engulfing pattern and candle of the week prior when we had a bearish candle, especially with an upside wick that was about the magnitude of the candle as well. So to get a little bit more downside hammer candle action so far and a downside shadow along with some bullish follow through right now, especially after we are right on the 12 period EMA for the weekly, that is going to be an extremely good sign. And that's one of the things that we do like looking at and seeing here, especially with just under three days left as a time of recording for the volume here. So previous week volume, 133.79 million current week, 86.83. So still on target to actually hit a little bit of that volume coming in here but like we said real big good sign for the weekly is just week over week for about a month of just back testing and confirming support on top of this 12 or excuse me the 26 period ema here especially after confirming it as support for about four weeks as well back at the start of the year and the beginning and middle of february now did turn back on the 50 period EMA and what's really good is that we've talked about closing support on top of the 26, but we actually have complete price support on top of the 50 as well. So you can see prices didn't even dip below where this 50 period EMA for the weekly is. So that does show a lot of good sign and showing that this he's a huge supportive zone overall, despite having a close on top of the 26 prices didn't last long and still maintain price level support on top of the 50 period EMA. So now I want to go ahead and talk about the technicals as well for the weekly, specifically stochastic RSI, like we've talked about before. Every time we do have the stochastic RSI below the 20 line, do see bullish cross, a lot more upside pressure from there. So even the last pullback where we actually kicked off and confirmed support on this EMA chart for the weekly here, we actually saw a nice bullish cross upside movement and a lot of upside pressure. So right now prices, excuse me, the stochastic RSI well below the 20 line for this RSI stochastic RSI and already have a bullish cross forming here. So just need to see a little bit more of that fall through to have a little bit more of that upside direction. But we know since we are already getting that nice bullish cross and formation on this stochastic RSI, especially being below the 20 line here, that we should be seeing a nice upside direction, which will provide a lot of upside pressure and momentum for this price chart here, especially after confirming very nice lower supports would expect a little bit more upside movement and gains. And even looking at the RSI for the weekly chart, saw a low here of 51.78. So normalizing this RSI down to the 50 line, always a very good sign. Anytime the RSI is around the 50 or even on the upside of it, when it does get down below the 50 line, that's when we start having to worry about conditions starting to get oversold. So as long as they haven't hit that yet, we could still see a very another good upside move on this RSI to break the 70 line. And when we do talk about upside momentum and trends to the upside, we're not necessarily thinking that just because we break the 70 line means that we're actually going to start pulling back because we're overbought because essentially in strong markets, we can get very, very nice long sustained periods of overbought signals. Just like in bear markets, we can get long periods of oversold signals. And so if that concept doesn't necessarily make sense, definitely drop me a note in the comments sections below or drop me a note just to say hi anyway, if you'd like to do always love getting back to each and every one of you but yeah so overall we're really liking the longer term charts especially after flipping a bullish formation on these exponential moving averages after confirming them for so long so very nice to see a nice structure on this grt weekly chart 
Flipping into the shorter term charts for our right now. First, before we wrap up, you can see very strong resistance coming in for a close on this four hour chart, pretty much about 30.45. So did barely just have a candle close slightly above it. But obviously with this much upside move, movement and momentum, especially with this much bullish volume, we know that likely we're going to experience a little bit of a pullback. Probably won't necessarily see too much of a sell off overall. Would expect a back test of some of these previous levels of resistance coming in pretty much like just under the 30 cent mark i would expect and probably in that instance even potentially down to about 29 cents would be the lowest case and in that instance as well i would expect a little bit of sideways action these emas to come up rally and then continue on to the upside as well just because we do have a very nice higher low forming and now a higher high with a lot of great bullish volume and the longer term charts looking extremely strong as well so overall, I think very strong cases to see all coins at a very minimum have a nice rally to put in a trend lower high and then kind of consolidate longer. But uh, uh, basically what we're looking at right now is still a potential to rally. So even if we do get to about low 40s, we're still getting over 100% rally from the bottom, which still would put in a lower high compared to the trend. So from the low up to the current trend high right now, we'd be looking at about 140% gain. So plenty of upside move, obviously from the, the trend high. GRT got hit pretty bad, almost down about 60%. And even Fibonacci wise from the low up to the current swing high, we're looking at a pullback, pulling back to the 78.6, which is a fine level, especially since we have defended it. But overall, we know that pullbacks of this magnitude typically lead in a short term lower high before trying to put in a longer term higher low. So like we said, still need to be plenty patient, not necessarily expecting a new trend high or all time high or anything like that coming in soon. Obviously, it does take a bit to shift momentum after such a significant pullback. But right now, charts are looking favorable for that type of setup and scenario to happen. And uh, yeah, so otherwise, lots of good things in store for GRT for this cycle. And so with that, that actually is going to go ahead and wrap up our show today on GRT, the graph token. Hope you all enjoyed. If you did, please hit the thumbs up, like, and subscribe if you have not done so just yet. And also don't forget to drop me a note or comment down in the comment sections below, whether it be comments, predictions, issues, disagreements, all that stuff. Do love getting back to each and every one of you. Also appreciate all the continuous love and support. It does mean so much. Do stay safe, coin traders. Take care, and I'll catch you back in the next video.